Hello Hawkeyes, future Hawkeyes, perspective Hawkeyes, welcome to Iowa City. Uh, you may recognize this from the literature you've been getting from the university, or maybe you've already been here on campus. We're here on the Pennant Crest, and who am I? I'm Joe Riley. I work for the Iowa City Downtown District. I serve as the nighttime mayor. Don't worry, it's not an elected position. Uh, we're a nonprofit that services the downtown area, and my job is to cultivate, sustain, promote arts and nightlife culture in our district. So while you want to have the best education you can in your four years, it's also important to have a great social life and be entertained and be in a community that feels like that. So luckily for you, while you may be uh, in one of these classes here on the Pentecrest, sometime in your tenure here at the University of Iowa, downtown is also next door. So I'm going to take you on a tour. We're going to show you some spots that may be of some interest to you. And you're going to find that while we have a small town feel, we have a lot of urban tendencies. Let's go. Uh, so we are walking down Clinton Street right now. We just left the Pinnacrest. Uh, behind you, a couple places of interest. So we have uh, Molly's Cupcakes. You can get them made to order or you can pick them up uh, from their daily selection of flavors. Quite a treat when you're just leaving class here from the Pinnacrest. We're also here at the corner of Clinton and Washington. This is where your CAM bus would meet up with the Iowa City Transit, with the Coralville Transit. About 7,000 people daily enter downtown through this bus system. You'll definitely get your steps in here, coming to the University of Iowa. Uh, if you're familiar with Poncheros, home of the Bob Burrito. This is their original first location. They now have over 50 some locations across multiple states. Uh, Poncheros Burritos, and you can't forget the queso, especially with some chips. Also next door down to uh, Poncheros, we have Mesa Pizza. I'd recommend the macaroni and cheese pizza at Mesa. In opening this summer, uh, we do have Target coming to downtown. Uh, so I traditionally, uh, we had a Target out in Coralville, we still do, uh, but that was always the issue. When you come to school, everyone's making a mad dash for the mall, and now you're just about a three block walk away from the East Campus dorms, and then a CAM bus ride from the West Campus dorms. We're now in the second block away from the Pentecrest, and we are just uh, passing Ragstock. Also, the Java House is a very popular coffee house we have here in downtown, along with the Heirloom Soup and Sandwich Company. Also, I'd recommend during your time here that you come and visit the English. Currently, right now, uh, they are closed due, due to social distancing. Uh, but it's always great to see a show here. They have theater, dance, comedy, concerts all here at the Englert. Definitely recommend it. Uh, we're now on mid-block of Dubuque Street. A um, couple of points of interest. So we have free live readings uh, typically on Monday nights at Prairie Lights. That's this venue right here. Uh, so we get national uh, book touring authors as well as authors who have at one point in their life or career come through the Iowa Writers Workshop. Uh, it's free to attend. Uh, you'll be able to hear these authors uh, read excerpts from their book at no cost to you. And if you'd like to purchase their book afterwards, you can do that too, and they'll sign in as well. Uh, so that's Prairie Lights. And then next to Prairie Lights, we have uh, Pullman Diner. They're known for their Pullman Burger. I definitely recommend it. Also, if you're into noodles, we have Zumerics. And then next to Zumerics, in the same uh, kind of yellow building, we have Daydreams Comics. If you're into comic book reading or graphic novel reading, you can buy individually or they can get you on a poll program where they'll pull your comics for you as they're released. If you're subscribing to a certain um, series of comics, they'll get that for you. Next there, we have Witch Witch and also Ray Gun. Uh, a lot of kitschy shirts uh, and apparel and very specifically Iowa City reference apparel there at Ray Gun. Next here, we're probably in the most, I would say, Instagram spot in Iowa City. 
This is a mural that the Iowa City Downtown District partnered together. Uh, this specific artwork is called The Return, and it was put on this wall in 2018. Here's another one of our murals we have here uh, installed in downtown. This one is called Coexist, and it is on the corner of Washington and Lynn. Probably one of our larger murals that we have here in downtown Iowa City, uh, but it definitely pops. A few more of our murals here from downtown Iowa City. Greetings from downtown Iowa City, I should say. Uh, this is on the side of the Iowa City Public Library uh, at the uh, in between College and Washington on Lynn Street in the alley. And also on the flip side there, we have another mural. Uh, I always call this one Dreaming of the, Mid of the Midwest Ocean. It's the alternate title. The uh, first title is Parsimente Arena del Oceano Interior. This is probably the runner up for one of our most uh, photographed mural alley art pieces that we have here. Uh, this is the Iowa City robot. Previously, this was a little alcove with a door on it. Uh, they installed the door and put on all of the robot bells and whistles. This is just further up the alley from the greetings from downtown Iowa City postcard. Heading further up the alley, uh, just behind us there is Blackhawk Mini Park, great place to hang out. Uh, picnic tables that have been installed, also coming soon. Those little brown benches there, we're going to install a shade structure, and that's uh, through us at the Iowa City Downtown District. We're just coming up here on the mural on the back of the uh, film scene Head Mall location. And this one um, has references to film studies that artists would use. So they would take multiple still images, not quite film, but just a lot of st still images to study dancers and their movement. And another one of our ginormous uh, two and a half story mural here. Uh, this is a portrait of Mr. Summerwell, who was the, one of the original founders of Midwest One Bank, which is based here in Iowa City. This mural is on the back side of, well, the side of their um, headquarters here in downtown Iowa City. I'm here with Irving Weber, historian, humanitarian, all-American swimmer, businessman, and gentleman. That's just literally what it says on the plot. Um, very famous philanthropist and uh, community member here in Iowa City. And we're here at the corner of Iowa Avenue in Lynn, just two blocks off of the Pinnacrest. Uh, we're in front of the Spence Laboratories and Psychology Building. Also some of our science buildings. Oh, and look, there's the Pinnacrest. Just two blocks off here, uh, down Lynn Street, from where we were earlier with the Coexist mural. And then also a little peek into our north side downtown in between Van Allen and the Spence building. We are now in the, what we call North downtown. Uh, we are a block, two blocks away from the school of business. So the Papa John building is two blocks up this way. We're about three blocks away from the uh, East Campus Dorms, Courier, Dom, Burge. And uh, North downtown has a lot of legendary businesses here. Um, so some of the most notable ones just behind me. Uh, we're on the corner of Lynn and Market Street. So all the way here on the corner we have the Hamburg Inn. They're home of the uh, famous pie shake and breakfast anytime that you want it. Uh, also very popular stop for uh, presidential campaigns. And they have their famous bean pole where patrons stop by, drop a little coffee bean in for their favorite candidate. And it was also featured on an episode of The West Wing, if you're familiar with that show. And then right here, we have Oasis Falafel. Chips and hummus is clutch. I cannot stress this enough. You have to come to Oasis. And they carry it in most of the high around here in grocery stores anyways. Uh, but a long-time business of the north side downtown and uh, very legendary themselves. And then back the other way down Linden Street behind me, we have Marco's Grilled Cheese there in the green and gold. Uh, 
little deal alert. Friday's is BOGO grilled cheese, so $5 grilled cheese. Cheese scores you another grilled cheese, and that's just on Fridays. That's Marco's grilled cheese. They started out as a food cart vendor in the pedestrian mall, and now they have their own brick and mortar store. So we're not too far off from uh, campus. This tall building here, we have the uh, psychology, the Spence Laboratories building, so we're just on the other side of Lynn Street, uh, again at the intersection of Market. Down the way here, one of our oldest grocery stores, John's Grocery, right there on the corner. Uh, they've been operating for nearly 100 years. Uh, it's another grocery store that's just three blocks away from your East Campus, uh, East Campus dormitories as well. Uh, a couple other places to point out here, there's a lot of uh, brunch spots here. So behind me, we have the Goose Town Cafe. Uh, this place for brunch. And then also back down where we had John's Grocery, we have uh, the Bluebird Diner, which is Caddy Corner from John's Grocery. And then also El Bandito's, which is here behind the tree. Uh, some great places to grab brunch if you're into that as well. And we also can't forget Paglia's Pizza, a uh, very famous pizza spot just open in the evenings. Hey, uh, we have the owner of Marco's Grilled Cheese here. Mark, can you say hello for us? Hello. On Iowa Avenue and Lynn Street, we have the Literary Walk, which was uh, cataloged by the UNESCO City of Literature. So Iowa City is the first in the United States to become a city of literature. And that is based on our work here with the Writers Workshop at the University of Iowa. On the walk, there is about 70 some authors who have either been here in Iowa City with the Writers Workshop or have some type of Iowa roots. Uh, just leaving Yotopia. I uh, gotta find a place to sit down and eat this bad boy. I got the S'mores Nutella mashup. We're here in the pedestrian mall at the corner of Clinton and College. Everyone always says the most popular place to hang out in a house is the kitchen. Well, the pedestrian mall would most likely be Iowa City downtown's kitchen, for sure. Now we're at in, um, the heart heart of the kitchen, at the Weather Dance Fountain Stage. This is at the corner of College Street and Dubuque. There's the River Dance Fountain Stage. Some live concerts there on Friday nights. Typically, very beginning of the school year, very end of the school year is when we start those. Uh, there's also just impromptu people busking, um, also some other bands that come and go from Iowa City downtown. Right now we have artists from our Benchmarks program. Uh, this is another program that Iowa City Downtown District puts on. And they are covering our park benches with their design or their concept or their art. Uh, just leaving the Fed Mall now. Uh, just on the near the intersection of Lynn Street College. We have Red Market Garden. Another one of our grocery stores here in downtown. Uh, full service uh, deli, coffee, uh, salad bar, and uh, other essential needs that you need. Also next door, the uh, city place called Formosa. That's F-O-R-M-O-S-A. Uh, check them out. I'm pretty sure it's still Wednesday night for sushi nights. Uh, $3 rolls. Very delicious, very affordable. But check them out on their social for the most updated menu. And uh, just a little over three blocks away from the Old Capitol and uh, Pinnacrest area, we're walking down College Street. Uh, another venue I would done, Crepes Deluxe Cafe. If you like sweet crepes or savory crepes or if you've never had a crepe and you're wanting to check it out I would definitely recommend Crepes Deluxe. Uh, next up we're gonna head over to 404 Social and Film Scene here inside the Chauncey Tower. All right we are now at the Chauncey Tower. We're about uh, three blocks away from the camp bus stop on Washington, so we are at Washington and Gilbert, and the CAN bus stop is three blocks up the street there on Washington. 
Uh, this is a newer building, and we're gonna meet the uh, people from 404 Social. It's the Bowling Alley Arcade Restaurant, and then also we're gonna stop in to film scene and check in on them. Let's go. And we're here at 404 Social with Heather. Heather, you wanna talk about the space inside? What, what do you guys have here? Hello, welcome to 404 Social. We have uh, 12 arcade games. There are 12 skee-ball machines and eight pinball machines. So quite a lot of action. And then we are a two-story bowling alley. There are six lanes on each floor, so 12 total. Can we go inside and check it out? Let's do it. Oh yeah, this, this one is the classic here. Time Crisis, uh, a little uh, shooter, first person arcade game, classic. Uh, just checking out the pinball machines here. Looks like we have Star Trek and the Jetsons, if anyone remembers the Jetsons. Heather, you're in the process of opening up the uh, restaurant portion, or you're going to have food here. But where can be the best place for people to get an update or details about what's going on here at 404 Social? Well, you can email me with any inquiries at um, heather at 404socialbowling.com. Also, feel free to follow us on Instagram at 404 Social. Updates there too. Oh wow. Got the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And so Heather, do you do these machines take quarters or do you have like tokens or how does it work? We have really awesome tokens. They are 25 cents a piece. So machines also take quarters. So they accept quarters or you can purchase our tokens. Oh wow. And then what do we have? Over here, Skee-Ball. Here on the second story, or in the uh, lanes seven through 12, got the uh, bowling balls here. And then if you saw on the wall here, look at all those, just ready to go. All right, next up, uh, we're still inside the Shotzi, just across the hall from 404 Social. We are in Film Scene. This is Emily. Now, Emily, is this your only location for Film Scene? No, actually, this is our second location. We are, have typically only been down in the Ped Mall, in our Ped Mall location for the past six years. This year, we just reopened in this uh, new second location of the Shotzi, so this is kind of the, the new location for us, but we've been around for a long time. Cool. And uh, if students want to uh, come see a film here, are there any special deals or discounts for students? Absolutely. We um, we actually work with a student film board that's called the Bijou's uh, Film Board, and they're very active in helping us program, helping us volunteer for shows, and they curate um, a lot of films uh, specifically geared towards uh, students. And all of those shows are free for students. Um, we also do a Saturday night after hours that's just like a fun uh, program that's um, an alternative to going out downtown. You can come in and see a movie theater. So we have a lot of really good stuff this year. So you guys do have like special programming some nights Absolutely. where you're offering maybe movies that have been out for a while, but you're offering an experience with the movie, right? Yep, that's kind of our main goal is to be more than just a movie theater. We want to have um, we have to give people experiences here. So this is this is our largest auditorium. Uh, our theater seats 120, and you can see we have a lot of really good plush seating. Oh yeah, make it super comfortable. For sure. Um, but like you were saying, we, we try to give people like a really cool experience. We have a lot of uh, just fun events where we have directors come in. We have um, people just like Q and A's that we do. Um, we do rooftop shows in our pet mall location. We bring back people, classics. We're going to be showing Jaws here this summer pretty soon. Man it, uh, man it. <laughs> so excited. Uh, we like to try to see what we can come up with. Um, and it's just a lot of fun being creative with that. Well, thanks, Emily, for taking us on this tour. What would be the best place for people to get updates about what's going on with film scene? Yeah, absolutely. Um, our, our show times change all the time, so our website is the best resource. Uh, you can go to icfilmscene.org to check out what we have going on, what we have coming up, and all the movies that you will be playing. Uh, and check our Facebook page, too. We have a lot of really cool stuff going on Facebook. On Facebook. Uh, we do like a lot of virtual viewing there too, so just uh, there's a couple places to find us.
Well, thank you for coming on our tour today. Uh, I guess one of the positives here about downtown is that there's so much to do, so it's very hard to condense it down into such a short video. But hopefully this helps you kind of uh, conceptualize where everything is at and how really close, uh, intimate, compact, and entertaining downtown can be. Uh, if you need any further details about any of the restaurants or establishments I talked about, or you're just curious to browse more, visit downtowniowacity.com. Also, parents, great gift idea. We do offer a Downtown Iowa City gift card, which is good at 100 plus businesses here in the downtown district. And that includes parking in the garages or meters. Thanks again to UI Admissions for letting me lead you on this tour today. And go Hawks!